Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, June 1st, 2019. Next 26 weeks. 26 weeks, yes. Of keto. Of keto. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's better than what I usually just say, yep. Yep. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do the yep. I'm going to be the yep person today. Oh, okay. Well, um, I'm trying to just stay positive and to stay um, motivated and patient. Patient is the key word. Uh, I'm still having yep. some issues with constipation. I mean, I've tried everything. I have magnesium citrate, uh, Miralax, Ducalax, uh, all kinds of different crazy things. I've talked to the doctor. I'm calling the doctor again on Monday. Two doctors. Yeah, my regular and the gastro doctor. Um, back about three weeks ago, I did a colonoscopy. Since the colonoscopy, horrible time with constipation. It's it's a little embarrassing to even talk about, but it's just what's going on. It's a fact of life. Um, yeah, and whatever I try, it, it seems to help a little, and I think everything is getting going, and then about three or four days later, right back to where I was. So I'll be talking to them again on Monday yeah. and leaving messages and taking suggestions and you know, I appreciate your guys' input too. I have done the salt water flush. Uh, it's sort of almost working. I thought that was going to fix it. I have done magnesium citrate and that sort of worked and I thought that was going to fix it. And, you know, two, three days later, normal eating, you know, fibers, vegetables and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, I'm back to being like distended and hurting and pushing and rubbing uncomfortable. and uncomfortable. Yeah. So, well, last week, uh, I weighed in at 336.6 and I was pretty frustrated and upset because I wasn't able to get anything out of me. And this week I was pushing and doing all the stuff in the bathroom you got to do, you know, <laughs> to do what you got to do. And I was 335.6. But these numbers are just temporary at the moment. I mean, obviously I'm still following my keto plan. I'm still eating and drinking and doing all the exercise and doing everything that I need to do, which was on my regular course. Once I can get this gastro stuff working normal again, I'll probably be doing a lot better. So I'm just trying to take it with a smile and keep moving forward. You know, do what I got to do. Absolutely. So last week was my birthday week. Thank yes. you all so much for my birthday wishes. I had a great day, um, despite having to go get my booby squish or a mammogram. No, it was um, really good. And it was good. Um, we even went out for a little lunch. We, we went did. To Outback. We went to Outback first, and I got my Al Actually, Bill joined me. We yep. got our Alice Springs chicken with broccoli for our side. Um, what did they put on that? Cheddar cheese and bacon? Uh, yeah, they did cheddar cheese and bacon on there, so that was really good. I enjoyed my dinner, uh, lunch. Lunch, yeah. Was dinner for me? It was really killing. <laughs> absolutely. So the mammogram results came back, and they are absolutely fine. So that's awesome. Yay. It's very glad to hear that. My mom is doing Oops. well. Uh, she is home, and just really sore. Um, some of her foods are not quite tasting the same for her. Yeah, she had we'll part see. of her colon removed. Yeah, right. They didn't have to take as much of the colon as they were anticipating. They did take the rest of her uterus and the ovaries and things of that nature. But she's doing good and on the mend. Uh, my sister is up there visiting her now. That's and, why we're in the living room. Right. <laughs> we have um, a guest guests downstairs. downstairs yeah. So, uh, but it's okay because it's it's nice. I like it up here. It's different. Yeah, and, just a little different setting. Yeah, different setting. Same um, room, different room. <laughs> absolutely. But I really appreciate all the birthday wishes. Um, it was a great day. Yeah, and then uh, earlier in the week we ordered up some uh, Good D's brownie mix oh, yeah. for Stace so we could make that treat. Sometimes, you know, people celebrate with a little bit of a treat. And we used to make a cake or make a brownie or a muffin or something. So I thought it would be kind of fun just to make a little, you know, low-carb brownie. Yeah, Funfetti was always my I'll favorite And I'll tell you cake. what, they were darn good. We really enjoyed them. Uh, we tried. To, I went and bought a regular cake, uh, brownie mix. For the girls yeah. so that they could have some brownies and not feel like, boy, mom and dad need brownies. And, you know, they're 10 times the cost. So I didn't right. want the kids to just yeah. <laughs> cookie monster on them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so they had their own pan of brownies that they ate and they enjoyed very much. But we ate our brownies. Absolutely. Nice. So for me, it's Shark Week. Ladies, you dun, know what dun, I mean. Dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. So super, normally my ring comes right off. I can't even get budge my ring today. Um, normally it's falling off to the point where I'm worried 
it's going to fall off. Yeah, Bill, um, Bill didn't know what Shark Week was. I was watching Natalie's videos and she just kept talking about Shark Week. I'm like, man, she must <laughs> really like those Shark Week documentary things that are always on Discovery. No, I, I figured it out. When I told Bill this morning, he goes, oh, Natalie said it's Shark Week. And I was like, oh, I love that. Um, so, yeah, it's Shark Week. So we'll see. So unfortunately, the two pounds I lost last week, I'm right. up this week. Right back. Yeah. It's so, like a poltergeist. It came back. <laughs> but I want to see the light. <laughs> You're doing great, though. You're really close to whatever goal it is that you choose. I, on, yeah. On uh, so I was at, I weighed in this morning at 134.8. Um, so I'm up the two pounds. Last, last week I was 132.8. So up the two pounds. I can definitely tell it's water weight. Like I said, normally my rings are so loose. They're moving around in my hands. and I, I know that one. Yeah. yeah. And yesterday and today... Not so much. So, not going to fret. It happens. Yeah. Did you ever <laughs> determine what your goal weight would want to be? Or are you just kind of still going? I'm just, with... you know, seeing how I feel. I, You know, I'm guessing somewhere around 130. Uh, okay. That seems to be where my body's pretty comfortable at. I'm, you know, pretty comfortable. And you're real close um, to that. And then I can stop buying clothes. <laughs> oh, yeah. We buy a lot of new clothes. Uh, We've gone from like a 2X to a medium. A medium, yeah. Yeah, or an 18 that was tight to an 8. Yeah, and my 8's not tight anymore. No, so. you, this morning you were not. So it'll be interesting to see what your <laughs> measurements are for the 7 month, which is what, another 2 weeks, I believe? Correct, yeah. correct. It'll be interesting to see how much, even if your body hasn't changed in your numbers as much because you're so much closer, right. where are you changing on your... your um, I'm definitely smoothing out a little bit on the hourglass. Yeah. I would say I actually have a little bit of a... Sure do. Hourglass. Um, yeah. And you've been just starting to take some collagen too for your yes. hair and your skin and your mm -hmm. nails. My nails look horrible today because I did <laughs> four hours of body art last night um, and then I go out for... Five hours of body art tomorrow night from uh, for a senior all night party. So, um, but my nails look fantastic. They're growing really nicely. Good. I did polish on them, and Bill says, "Your nails look like you need to to do them, didn't you? Just do them." I said, "Yeah, they I did. had grown out so quickly that yeah. they were away from the nail bed." From the I'm nail like, bed. Boy, yeah. it looks like you need to redo them. So yeah. they're growing very nicely, which is uh, wonderful, and I'm not feeling any. Um, any more thinning of the hair because we were noticing definitely the hair was feeling a little bit thinner. I don't um, have any hair anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I love your hair. <laughs> and then and if I do, I shave it off because it drives me nuts. It it's does, especially hot. it's hot. <laughs> it's starting to get hot. But uh, yeah, there's there's not a lot I'll more. Let's see, we got, we got our weights in. Yep, got um, our weights in. We talked a little bit about our brownies, which were wonderful. Yes, Those they were. Those were good. I have a recipe video, watch to make another, um, it's called a brownie fat bomb. Uh, oh. Very similar to the ingredients in the brownie mix that we just made uh, from Good D's. So, I'm not sure. Um, I, I don't like the, every fat bomb we made I didn't like. It's not considered necessarily a fat bomb. Okay. When, I, a when I look at the recipe, maybe we'll try that. yeah, when I look at the recipe, it's very similar to the brownie um I guess it's just Mix. the word fat bomb turns me off because every fat bomb I've tried sucked. We haven't, yeah, they have not, <laughs> they have horrible. not been good. They've been really bad. <laughs> so. This is BC time before coffee. So if my eyes aren't <laughs> open, you know, it's early in the morning. So. I have to go to work. Tired. Same old, same old. We just got to get this done early in Saturdays so that we can keep our promise. Absolutely. Like we We're going to be here. Good, bad, rain, shine, whatever. So, wait up, wait down, wait up, wait, wait even. down, wait all over the place. <laughs> I think that's just called real life. I mean, everybody experiences that. Absolutely. Heck, I watch all these other videos and we sit down and we watch them and, you know, they go up, they go down. Some people disappear for a few weeks. You wonder if they're okay, you know, and then you do see them pop back and say, hey, I'm here. Just life has gotten in my way, you know. Yeah. So... But I almost had Bill do the update by himself so I could sleep in, but and I that's said, okay. that's we not have, fair. <laughs> we could have done that. I said, if you just jump on the scale and give me a number, we can make that happen. So if you ever just see me or just see Stace, then, you know, we're doing our best. We're just trying to keep up with the every Saturday like we committed to. Absolutely. So it'd be interesting to see how long we can go without messing it up. You know, you get vacations, you get things that happen and things that come up, but we'll do our best, even if it's a mobile Send yeah, it, you we know, can, just we from can do the it car, quick. you know, because we're because we are we do have a couple of vacations planned this year. 
So uh, excited. Yeah, we're going to go down to Florida for Orlando area. Going to Orlando and, and finally going to... Universal. Yeah. And that's what, August? In August, yeah. Lauren, um, when we went to Disney, gosh, she was probably about seven or eight. And we went to Universal and the Incredible Hulk ride. Lauren was so excited and she was an inch and a half too short. So she didn't get to go, but her cousins got to go and it was a phenomenal coaster. So 10 years later, we're heading back and she's super excited to go on the Incredible Hulk. Julia, on the other hand, when I've asked her even to go to Cedar Point, which is like a six, point, uh, six flags, just basically an amusement park, Julia wants nothing to do with it. She's like, no, thank you. Uh, so, so that day we're going to hang out by the pool or maybe I'll run her over to SeaWorld or something. And we'll do something fun together and you guys go ride roller coasters. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm so excited. I haven't been on any coasters in like two years. Yeah. Um, we might push, have to do a Cedar Point trip this year. We push hard. Um, our, our schedules are a little crazy and double work, triple work some days. We have a couple businesses as well. Stacy's got two jobs and then I've got two or three downstairs that I do and then Oh, there's just so much going on. So we are really going to truly go away and enjoy this vacation in August. We for... work hard, so we want to play hard. Right. So we have two vacations, and, and I'm super, super, super looking forward to them, as is Bill yeah. uh, and the Still girls. Still got to pay for them, but, you know. That's why we hustle. <laughs> That's why you got to work, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we booked up a little bit of a cruise for November. Um, it's something my mom did every year, and uh, since she passed, um, we just really have wanted to go again and we're going on her favorite ship which is the allure of the seas and we'll go out in uh, november so <laughs> so we're going to go and we're going to do that and we're going to sit in the same places that we would have morning coffee and you know just enjoy that ship because that was basically mom's favorite. <laughs> so Mister. we'll be doing that in november and we still got to pay for that too so reality is <laughs> <laughs> you know, gonna suck, but we'll we'll get it covered. We still gotta do airfare and everything too. Yep, that's okay yep. though. We're, yeah, we're gonna we'll do, do it. it. We're gonna enjoy it, and uh... yeah, we're gonna go and we're gonna have fun, and the girls are gonna love it. Um, Julia has been asking, you know, since before Mom passed, because she had one planned, and we right. didn't get to make that one, and uh, so we decided this year, every November, my mom would go on a cruise every November. And we didn't last year, obviously. Julia asked, and I just said, hey, that's just not happening. So we made it a point this year to say, let's yeah. do that for November. I don't know that we could do it every year, but we could do it occasionally, you know. Right. And we'll try Lauren to won't be able to go with us because of her school, school commitments. Um, I get it. U of M is very rigorous, as I'm sure all universities are. Um, but... She'll be there with us in spirit. She's super looking forward to it. We made it up with her by going to yeah, Orlando gonna, yeah, Universal. Yeah, you're gonna go do Universal in Orlando, so that'll be fun. Yeah. Yep. Mm. So. Yep. So thanks for checking in with us. That's our update on our weights and where we're at with our keto. We, uh, you're still tracking, right? Mm -hmm. Card manager, so am I. Uh, still sticking with my numbers and my macros. Um, if I can get this intestinal kind of things flowing and moving normal. I'll be doing even better. Um, and like I said, I just at first it was upsetting me the first week or two. And at this point, I'm going to look at this down the road <laughs> as just kind Let's of a going. funny moment. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, it is what it is. Hopefully I can get it all corrected and going normal again. Literally going normal. <laughs> 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 but, uh, you know, you just got to roll with it. And uh, at least I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not goofing roll off. Roll with the flow. Roll with the flow. Shark Week flow? I don't know. I don't know. This is going nowhere quick. But uh, thanks for checking in with us. We appreciate and, uh, you. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next week. See you later. Well, thanks, guys, for checking in. And we will see you next week, regardless, up, down, all around. Um, <laughs> this is just what we committed to. So every Saturday, you can listen to us babble about silly stuff if you want. Or you can just... Not yeah. listen. Not listen to us. But we prefer anyway. if you do. See you later. You want to do this again? Sure. Go Let's ahead. just do the whole thing again. No. Gotta Let's go. just start over. No, I got to go. You got to go to work. I got to go to work. Okay. Shark week. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs>
I, I can't believe I didn't know what Shark Week was. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Uh, that was the funniest thing I heard this morning. It's almost like sub sale. We were driving down the street and there was a sign and it said sub sale and I was hungry. And I was like, that's really weird that they're selling submarine sandwiches. And, and I was like, Bill, it's a subdivision garage sale. <laughs> he was so disappointed. I, yeah. I, I'm not the brightest green in the box, obviously. Uh, but I can laugh at myself. <laughs> so every time we go past the sub sale, I'm like, hey, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> the I girls are like, what are you talking about? Like, nothing. Yeah, I'm a dork. He's my dork. At least I know I'm a dork. Some people are dumb and they don't know they're dumb. And that's really funny. I'm dumb and I know I'm dumb. It's just the way it works. I'm all alone now. What am I going to do? I'm going to water this I'm going to water the plant so it doesn't die. I still want to do a garden, too. Just a little something. Whatever it is, I'll kill it, but I just want to try it. <laughs>